don't think and i'm serious about this don't think you can cheat because you've taken your exam from home honey it's not gonna be possible these people are strict as hell okay <laughs> hey my loves welcome back to my channel if you're new hello and welcome please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and also don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so anytime that i post a video you'll be the first to be notified okay so let's get straight into the video i'm so excited <laughs> okay so i just came on here to talk about my experience taking my exam from home as most of you would know, I am literally sick and tired of saying this over and over again, but I have to. I am a double registered stenographer. I'm registered in both RDMS and RDCS. With RDMS, I'm registered in OBGYN, and with RDCS, I'm registered in adult echocardiography, okay? And all my exams but one, I took it from home. I took it online, the proctored exam. Reason for this video is because I got a lot of questions about my experience you know taking my exam from home i got a lot of questions from tiktok facebook asking me to speak about my pros and cons of taking my exam from home so i just decided to make a video because why not uh, my very first exam which was the spi that i failed was at a test center and the second one was from home the third one was from home same with my OBGYN. i took it from home i passed the second time I failed the first, same with my RDCS, which is the adult echocardiography. I failed the first time, I passed the second time, and I took it from home. So all my exams, I think um, six or so exams were taken from home, but one, which was the very first one, SBI, I took it at the test center. And I know you'll be wondering, why didn't you take your exams at the test center? That wasn't because it was a bad experience. I had a good experience. It was easy, quick. I went in there, I signed in, they took my ID, they took my picture. I was being searched. I was asked to use the bathroom before I go into the room because as soon as I sit in front of my computer to take my exam, I will not be allowed to get up. So which I did all that and I was directed to go sit in front of a computer in the room. There was a camera right in front of me. The lady who was overseeing my exam could see me, but I couldn't see her obviously, but I could see the camera right in front of me. My exam was being started, I took it, and yeah, until I was done. So the reason why I don't like taking my exam at the test center, as I previously explained, it was a good, easy experience, but I don't know, it's just my preference. And when you take your exam, they are the first to know because as soon as the results get printed, it's literally on there as pass or fail. So I saw her, after it was printed, I saw her look on my results and she saw that I failed. And she just folded it and gave it to me and that's it. I felt stupid, I wouldn't lie, because I feel like, listen, if I pass, if I fail, I should be the first to know i should be the first to see not somebody else you know so i i don't know i just didn't like it i felt like the dumbest person on earth because how she looked at me made me feel that way the way she looked at me it felt like girl i thought you were going to pass and you failed yeah that was the feeling and i didn't like that so since then i vowed never to take my exam at um the test center and that was when the first mistake came in and if you know the mistakes that i'm talking about it's in my previous video that made me feel like you know what that's it i can't do it you know i failed and that's it but thank god by god's grace i overcame that fear i overcame that thought and here i am <laughs> After you pay your exam, you have to wait to be approved or denied by ARDMS. Once it's approved, if you've not created an account with Pearson View, you'll be asked or directed to create an account. We are affiliated with ARDMS, so you are writing your exam through them for ARDMS. I don't know if I'm making sense. So after you pay and you get your confirmation letter from ARDMS that, hey, okay, you're good to go. You could write your exam. You'll be given instructions on the exam confirmation letter, which will direct you to Pearson View for you to create an account if you don't have and schedule your exam. So whilst you schedule your exam, you either choose, okay, I want to take it at the test center or I want to take it from home. When you choose at the test center, buy your location 
all the um, exam centers will pop up and wherever is close to you or convenient for you you choose and you get your date and time but if you take it from home you choose your date that you want to take it and the time that you want to take it and that's it you prepare and wait for it now taking your exam from home don't think and i'm serious about this don't think you can cheat because you're taking your exam from home honey it's not going to be possible these people are strict as hell okay <laughs> if it was that easy i wouldn't write and fill my sbi i wouldn't write and fill my obgyn i wouldn't write and fill my rdcs okay it's not that easy so with how the process is on the day of your exam 30 minutes before or not even 30 minutes you'll be asked to you could do it anytime that you want you'll be asked to um test your computer and all what you need is a laptop or a computer it don't have to be mac okay, this is the laptop that i have you could use any computer a very strong reliable wi-fi your id and a test space that has nothing in view that has nothing within your reach if you don't want them to bother you and post your exam and call you and tell you to scan the room over and over again just choose an empty room with a chair and a table and your laptop that's it because if you don't even after you scan your room and upload it and wait for the approval they're going to tell you to pick up your laptop and scan the room again trust me you don't want to go through all that i, I did go through that with my rdcs and it was kind of weird because i never went through that but that's just in case okay so okay let me rewind back to how the process is so on the day of your exam per instructions you have to check in 30 minutes before your exam during that 30 minutes check-in period is for you to check if your sound is good with your computer if your camera is good with the computer if all the browsers that you were using previously are closed on your computer so with how the check-in and you will check in through pearson view and pearson view will send you a link and it will let you download the pearson view app so it's through that app on your laptop that is going to download your exam for you so after you download that app now it's going to move you to the next phase and that is checking your sound checking your camera and making sure all your browsers are closed those are the three steps now after everything is good you move to the next stage and the next stage is you uploading your id or passport the front and back and also taking pictures of your testing space so you're going to take a picture in front at the back from the side and from the other side and you have to make sure that nothing is in view nothing is within your reach your phone has to be with you but it has to be far away from you you're not supposed to touch it and that is because maybe if they want to reach you uh, or maybe they send a message on the laptop and you can't see it they will call you and tell you hey this that 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 you know the approval doesn't take a long time it takes like um i would say five minutes until you get a message on your laptop saying you are next in queue or you are the second in queue for your exam to be downloaded so you'll be able to take it so it's a pretty much smooth and easy experience everything will be explained to you on your confirmation letter so all what you have to do is just create an account with pearson view if you want to take your exam from home and you download the app you go through everything take pictures of your id your testing space and wait for your exam to be downloaded for you so during the exam you have to not look left right up down <laughs> because what that's going to do is they're going to think you're cheating and they're going to write a bold message on your screen that hey listen look straight in the camera they're going to give you warning or two before they end your exam that's what i read it has never happened to me one time i just zoned out i think on my sbi i just zoned out i was looking up for like five seconds but my focus was still on my laptop but i was just looking up for five seconds just like you know just thinking and i got this message on my laptop saying you have to look straight into the camera or else your exam will be ended so yeah since then mm -mm. <laughs> i never played about looking side side up down because huh. they can see you you cannot see them 
they can hear you you cannot hear them so you cannot have your kids running around you cannot have people just coming in as soon as they hear someone as soon as they see someone that's it your exam is going to be terminated you cannot do nothing about it you have to repay and retake if ARDMS will let you oh and I forgot to mention this you asked to take a picture for your results so yeah the exam your results will be sent to your email after 15 to 30 minutes and you'll be able to see your score report and print it out so that's a pretty good simple easy step to me there are no cons in taking your exam from home it's not scary it is at the comfort of your own home it is it's pretty straightforward it's basically the same as taking it at the test center okay just that with this you are not seeing whoever is seeing you so if you want to take your exam from home i would say do it just follow instructions and you're good to go well, that's it guys i guess i covered everything if you have any questions please leave them in the comment down below and i will answer you until the next video bye thank you for sticking around Mwah.